as we can see I've got the IVAC coming in slowly it's on DCC control um, the points are set to go straight ahead um, as we watch uh, this front wheel when it drops into this gap here on the points the train stops And it's really odd because it's not fully dropped, but it appears that these two wheels, because only th there's only six pickups, three each side, the electrical pickups on that wheel, that wheel, and that wheel. It just seems that these two wheels have lost their pickup, and I think this rail's still alive. And what I find, if I just gently touch there. It gets electrical picking up to that wheel and off it goes. Um, if I reverse that again, and let's see if it works this way. Once again, it stops. But if I, sometimes when you see, you can actually see the spark. That's me touching the rails, I think. We'll try one more time going the other way. I'll just press reserve. I'm using a Holmby Select DCC controller, quite a simple and expensive one. There it stops. Just gently touch there. I didn't touch it, decided to go. <laughs> All right, let's cancel that one. So what I can do is just show you what um, I found with these points. Now these are very old points, they're about 25 years old. Pico set track 100, but uh, 1999, yeah, 20 years old, just over 20 years old. So um, they've been around for a while. But what I found is if I put the ruler there, uh, it, it the, there's... Um, the track is just like the center part of the rail is raised. Um, don't know if you can see that. It's very minute. Um, but but I, I think that could be part of the problem with uh, the fact that there's that raised bit. So what I've done and I'm not saying this is good I was what I was doing is trying to prize it like that and ripped a track out of one of these points ripped a track just ripped it out by being brutal it's not a good way but I I did try a bit of this so that the fact you bend this bow this bit in which I don't think is a good idea I don't recommend it at all um I know somebody else that's better. That's surprising, actually, just doing that. Smoother. We'll give it a go with the train in a minute and see how it goes. But I've seen somebody else who actually um, done a YouTube. I wish I kept it. I can't remember. I can't find it now. He actually sanded off this um, to get it to work. So, yeah, let's give it a go. And so we go. This this is the point that I was applying my muscle to. Just check that's okay there. Um, that's the one we did the demonstration on. I've, I've applied muscle to that, <laughs> um, but I've, this is the one I was doing in the um, demonstration. And it's still a little bit. You can just tell there's a bit of a rise. But let's see. Um, let's see what's going on. Um, I'll just bring the train through. So this points I'm not touched, but um, maybe all right on that. We'll see. So they'll not touch those yet. Well, that's okay. It's worked there. I have these. These are the ones I've uh, messed around with. That seems quite good there, and it seems to be going all right. So that's quite good. Um, yeah, quite like that.
Another thing I tried, which is on the iVAT, this, this is not, this just runs in, well, grooves in the, the chassis, is, is just release these screws here a little. Um, I'm not, once again, I'm not recommending any of this. Um, but what it does, it allows the wheels a bit of play up and down. And that, that seems to help as well. However, that's not solving the problem about the points, but it does help the IVAT run smoother over them, as well as adjusting the points. So there you go. I cannot be held responsible for what happens when, if you do follow what we've done. This is not advice, it's just what we've done. Uh, probably, you know, like I said, we damaged one point, which we managed to repair, but yeah, an expensive mistake. Um, and also, you know, if you want to mess with your train, so be it, but I wouldn't recommend that either. That's just what we've done. Um, and then, but we have more reliable running at the moment than we did have. They just kept stopping, just stop, stop, stop. Okay, let's just go the other way. So yeah. One of the sort of sadly, it just ruined the whole thing for a while. We couldn't get the train to run properly on these points. Uh, this train has a special meaning for us, um, so yeah, but it's running well now. Quite pleased about that. Thank you for watching. Right in our next video, we're gonna reverse engineer the DCV signal. As you see, the uh, vat is slowly crawling towards the uh, points on turnout. And as it comes up, the, f the front wheel here drops down into that gap there. And the train stops. 